Welcome back to JB Reviews. I found a built to serve around 1500 and this is the most patriotic truck you can buy and you're gonna see why here in a second. Let's get into the video. Special shout out to Larry H. Miller Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram here in Sandy, Utah. They do have this truck available for sale. If you are in the market, be sure to let them know you saw the video. So here's the winner's sticker for the truck we're going to be reviewing today. And as I mentioned, this is going to be based on a Bighorn. And base price is going to be $49,125. That's a lot of money for a Bighorn. And then here's all your standard equipment here. Built to serve starts off the options at $29.95. And you get a lot of great features in this package here. And just keep in mind that LED reflective headlights is in there. Bighorn level two is $3,095. And up top, it's going to continue. And the 5.7 was $29.95 with a destination at $18.95. And then the total price of this truck is going to be $60,105. And they do have it discounted at Larry H. Miller to $55,000 on their website. But be sure to call in and see what the final price would be for you. Now, if this is your first time seeing a built to serve, this is the EMS edition. They also have the firefighter edition, but if you do get the EMS, they have this white or they have like the blue. I believe it's the hydro blue on these trucks right there behind me. But overall, this does have a different design from your normal Ram 1500s. Like you could tell like this is a night edition. You could tell that the grill is slightly different compared to this one right here. And I do like how they black out the lower bumper and the grill. It looks a little bit more aggressive. LED headlights do come a part of the built to serve. If you don't know, on the Laramie for 2023, this is an option. So if you would like to get this, I strongly recommend getting this package here. And overall, the price point is kind of high, but look what you're getting. Now, something that you saw also is this does have a little bit higher ride height compared to the standard round 1500 that you see over here. And it does make it look a little bit more tougher too, having that higher ride height. Now this does have the darkened 20 inch wheels, five spoke design, and they're wrapped in a Falcon Wild Peak tire AT. These are the AT3WA, and they are a 275 5520, and it has 2,535 pounds of capacity, 51 PSI. And love the running boards that they give you on this one too. It just has everything you would really want. I even noticed that they even darkened this a little bit too, which is a nice accent. All your emblems are gonna be blacked out too. Door handles. It's just a nice package. And it stands for something too. And this is the dead giveaway. This is a built to serve, all blacked out. And coil suspension out back, as I mentioned, and raised suspension too. So I don't believe you can get air suspension with the built to serves. This one does have a 23 gallon fuel tank, but there is an available 33 gallon, and I strongly recommend that one if you are able to build this truck from the factory too. This is a short bed, so five and a half foot bed. They are using the blacked out tail lights too. And check out your dual exhaust down below. There are black tips and the black bumper and emblems out back too rear backup camera and they do provide a light down below here for your conventional hitch which is a class four and as you guys saw too on the window sticker you have a locking rear axle out back too four and seven pin and led lights for your license plate lights and you have parking sensors down below this truck is pretty loaded Now, I really do like the wheel design. I really think it does just finish it off perfectly. But let's go ahead and pop the hood. As you guys saw on the side, it does have the e-torque, and let's explain what that is. In the past, they did have two 5.7 Hemis available. For 2023, you can only get the 5.7 with e-torque. The one without it is gone. And that's okay because this does still give you 395 horsepower and 410 pound-feet of torque. And having this gives you an extra 130 pound-feet of torque of supplemental power off the line. Now, can you feel that power? That's still up for debate, but nevertheless, it's supposed to help with fuel economy. It's kind of like a mild hybrid system. And one benefit from this that I experienced, because I own the 2020 with e-torque for about a year or two, is this helps the 
auto stop start to work a lot better compared to not having it so I do like it for that reason but 8-speed transmission known as the 8HP75 is basically the same transmission behind the 6.4 Hemi in the HD segment. So it's robust and I think this is a great reliable option if you are in the market. Now as far as the interior goes, this does have a unique setup here. So you do have the black onyx trim pieces. Looks really nice and it does dress up this big horn. And that's what's really so special about these built to service. They do give you a nice interior along with the exterior as you just saw. Like you can even see that blue accent in this fabric material. If you have those little Velcro uh, patches for your whatever you do for a living, you can put them right there. And yeah, you have that power seat up front, telescoping steering wheel, automatic headlights, power pedals down there, electronic parking brake, and you can still power fold the mirrors too on both sides. They do provide the convex as well. And let's go ahead and step inside. This has the seven inch gauge cluster. Push button starts right there. And again, you see those black onyx trim pieces again around that interior too nice readout i love the uh, vehicle info summary here that they give you it's really good for if you're towing too the other brands toyota nissan ford chevy don't have nearly as nice as a setup like this. This is my favorite thing because again, I do tow a lot and I love to monitor everything on the truck because sometimes something can get hot and if you don't see it, you know, beforehand, you know, you could have an issue obviously. So I do like that they give that to you. You have your engine hours there. And the Philly Common readout is really easy to read and just very comprehensive too. Now, obviously this does have the 8.4 inch display. You can get a 12 inch with this truck however it is an option but the 8.4 is more than adequate because you still get the split screen and this does have the wireless uh, carplay things like that so although it doesn't have navigation you still can have navigation on here and setting up your phone is pretty darn easy so you just go through here it'll just show you how to set everything up and great information up here if you want to turn your heated seats on you can do it within the screen or because you don't have the 12 inch, you have the buttons right here. Do a climate control. And let's check out some of the information inside of here that is important. Like for example, you do have a rear backup camera. You can zoom into your conventional hitch and settings right here. This is something that Ram's been doing for a while. Uh, great way to customize this. Uh, you can do your mirrors, your wipers, uh, your lights. Here's a few things that you can see brakes, door locks, so you can really customize some of these features for the truck. Um, seat comfort, you can do auto on comfort. So like right now in the winter time, if you want to set up your heated seats to come on with remote start, you have that option to do so. Now this one does not have a trailer brake. Of course it is an option, but as I mentioned, you do have axle lock out back and four wheel drive auto a lot of great stuff here you can turn off the stop start if you don't want that to pop on and right down below traction control tow haul mode front and rear parking sensors tons of usbs that's something else that ram does the best they give you a lot of usbs and they have the absolute best center console like for storage no one can match them power plug and check this out you have storage here with a usb and because this is a built to serve, you do have a lockbox. So if you're one of those kind of people who like to, you know, carry a nice little nine millimeter, you can put it back down here. They provide keys for it and everything. And this is pretty robust too. And I've seen a lockbox for the Toyota Tundra. Theirs don't compare to this. I love what Ram has done with this truck. Like they have just really taken this thing to new heights. And speaking of heights, let's look up here. Because this is a big horn, you do have incandescent bulbs up here, home links right there, and sunglass holder. Slide that back window pretty easily. And here are the other patches too. I meant to show those to you. Those are the other patches you have for the truck on both seats. And let's check out 
this side of the truck now. On this side, you do have a manual seat, which is okay. And I hear some of your controls for the door. And then that built to serve badge is on this side. Storage with a light and then storage down below. And then you have side storage. I don't normally show this to you, but you do have storage on the side there. And you know, that power plug right there comes in handy. I never noticed it until I got my GMC. I do miss that and not having it is kind of stinky. But let me go ahead and take these floor mats out. All weather floor mats. And this is probably one of the biggest cabs in this segment. You know, having a chance to really test out Fords. I do like Fords cab too, but this is a really nice like setup here. Like the storage in the floor, RAM is pretty exclusive for this. And these do pop out, so if you wanna put ice in them, you can just, you know, throw it all out once you're done using it. But this is a flat floor surface right here, like completely flat. And the seat back here is really large too. So a lot of people have been really hoping that Ram puts this in the HD segment. So if you are buying a half ton, that is one good thing about this truck is the cab size is pretty big. And you can fit three large adults back here pretty comfortably. And I almost forgot to show you your Moly strips here. They're on both seat backs right down here, as you can see. And that is like an acronym. Moly is an acronym for Modular Lightweight Load Carrying Equipment. It's something that the US Army uses. And Ram basically put it in the truck to show how patriotic they are. Now, if you are planning to tow with this truck, here are some of the numbers for it. And hopefully you guys can see that the sun glare is kind of kind of crazy right now, but I'll call it out. So you have a 3,900 pound gross actuate rating out front. The rear gross actuate rating is gonna be 4,100 pounds. And all in, this does have a gross fuel equate rating of 7,100 pounds, which is pretty typical in this category for all your half tons. And then you have a 1,530 pound payload capacity. I believe that the towing capacity is like around 7,000 pounds for this truck. But nevertheless, you know, I think this is a cool truck, especially if you want something a little bit patriotic. And they do have this in the firefighter edition too, but this is the EMS. And special shout out to Larry H. Miller for allowing me to do this video. If you are in the market, be sure to give these guys a look up and I'll see you guys in the next video.